Assalamu alaikum students. Today we shall learn uh, some topic in Max. Now, it this is called a horizontal line. A line, this if you draw a line like this from left to right, it is a horizontal, a horizontal line. Now, if we draw a line from top to bottom, it is a vertical line. Slanting line is drawn like slightly in a tilted way. Slanting. Okay. Now, can we, so what is the horizontal line? A long line drawn from left to right. Vertical line, a line drawn from top to bottom. Slanting line is a line drawn slantingly. Now, draw a horizontal line on this apple. How to draw? Horizontal line. Horizontal line. Now draw a vertical line in this figure. Vertical line from top to bottom. Now draw a slanting line. Slantingly you have to draw. So now you know you are clear you are clear about the horizontal line vertical line and slanting line horizontal line from left to right you have to draw from vertical line you have to draw from top to bottom slanting line you have to draw slantingly now now next look at this a gardener collected 72 cauliflowers gardener who works in a garden where he grows flowers, vegetables, etc. Now, he is collecting 72 cauliflowers from his garden. Okay, in the, on the first day. So, on the first day, how much did he collect? He collected 72. Then, he next day, second day, he collected, second day, he collected 18. 18. Okay, a gardener collected 72 cauliflowers on the first day, 18 cauliflowers on the second day. Now, how many cauliflowers did he collect in total? Total, what should you do for total? When total comes, we have to add. Total means add. So, add. Okay, so answer is equal to 90 cauliflowers. 90 cauliflowers. Okay, so shall we, first day he collected 72 cauliflowers, second day he collected 18 cauliflowers. So totally how many? 72 plus 18 you have to add. Take 2 in the mind, 8 fingers. And add after 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So, strike it. Write 0 here. Write this 1 here. 1 in the mind. Take 7 fingers. After 1, 8. After 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in the mind. Take 1 finger. After 8, 9. So, 90 cauliflowers. Okay. Next. Now, next we shall learn a new topic, perimeter and area. Perimeter. Perimeter means the outer most distance. Outermost distance. You have to, is, is the perimeter. So, I, let us find out the perimeter of this shade, this shaded portion. Now, let us start from here. One box is one square unit. So, we can consider this as one. One area, one portion, two portion, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, outermost distance. One, one, two, three means like this 1 2 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो वॉट इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस शेडेड पोर्शन पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस शेडेड पोर्शन इज एट यूनिट एट यूनिट वन बॉक्स वन यूनिट वन बॉक्स इज वन यूनिट सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नो कैन वी फाइंड आउट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस फिगर सो लेट एस नेम द फिगर ए बी सी डी ओके नाउ वॉट इज द पेरीमीटर ऑफ वॉट इज द डिस्टेंस ऑफ ए एंड बी टेन ए बी पेरीमीटर मीन्स ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस ए डी सो ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस डी ए नाउ वॉट इज ए बी ए बी इज टेन ए बी टेन वॉट इज द बी सी बी सी इज फोर वॉट इज सी डी सी डी इज एट वॉट इज द डी ए डी ए इज फोर सो लेट एस काउंट टेन प्लस फोर फोर्टीन फोर्टीन प्लस एट फोर्टीन प्लस एट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स दिस इज इन सेंटीमीटर्स सो राइट सेंटीमीटर नॉट यूनिट दिस इज इन सेंटीमीटर्स सो राइट इन सेंटीमीटर्स ओके सो वेन यू एड ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस डी ए यू गेट द पेरीमीटर नो शेल वी राइट द पेरीमीटर ऑफ दिस फिगर पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हिया सिक्स मीटर सिक्स प्लस नेक्स्ट यू हैव थ्री हिया थ्री प्लस यू हैव वन हिया फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर वन वन प्लस यू हैव फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर वन प्लस देन फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर वन प्लस देन दिस डिस्टेंस थ्री प्लस नेक्स्ट कम टू दिस डिस्टेंस सिक्स प्लस कम टू दिस डिस्टेंस प्लस थ्री प्लस अगेन दिस डिस्टेंस वन प्लस दिस डिस्टेंस वन प्लस दिस डिस्टेंस वन प्लस दिस थ्री सो सिक्स थ्री वन 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 थ्री सिक्स थ्री वन 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 प्लस थ्री सो शेल वी कम सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी एट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट मीटर शेल वी काउंट वन स्मो सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स सॉरी सिक्स प्लस थ्री नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी सो पेरीमीटर मीन्स यू हैव टू काउंट द साइड्स द डिस्टेंस विच इज Uh, a to b is ten, ten plus c b to c is four, four plus c to d is eight. Then d plus a d to a is four. Write all the numbers. Count the sides. Count the sides. Distance of the sides, and then you write the answer. Okay, here count it. Count the sides. Six plus three nine. Nine one ten eleven twelve fifteen twenty one 
You should count the whole portion. Area is not the side but the whole unit. The whole unit. So what is the area of this square? One, you have one box is one unit. So count the, what is the area of this square? Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, one, oh, the whole you have to count. But in perimeter, only the side. Only the side. Okay. Whole area. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 square unit. 12 square unit. Now, shall we count the, find out the area of this shaded portion? Shaded portion, one, only three cubes are, three units are shaded. So, shall we write one, two, three. What is the area of this shaded portion? Three square and it is in centimeters. So, three square centimeter. Now, Find the perimeter and the area. Now shall we find the perimeter of this? Shall we start from here? 1. Means perimeter on the outside. We have to count the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, perimeter is 12 meter. Okay. Now, area. Area is, you have to, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, Square meter. Area this. 5 square meter. Is it clear how to find the perimeter and area? Now, next. You have formulas to find out the perimeter and area. What are the formulae? Perimeter of a rectangle is 2 into L plus B. How many a rectangle has a rectangle has length and breadth. The longer side is length, the shorter side is breadth. So how many lengths are there? Two lengths. How many breadths? Two breadths. So shall we write here? Perimeter of a rectangle is L L plus B plus L plus B. Right? L plus B plus L plus B. Okay. So, how many L, uh, lengths are here? 2. 2 L plus how many breadths are here? 2 B. Okay. That can be written as I will take the 2 outside and I will write 2 L plus B. Right? So, perimeter of a rectangle formula is 2 L plus B. Okay? Area of a rectangle means length into breadth. L into B. Length into breadth. Now, perimeter of a square. How many sides are there in a square? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, perimeter of a square is equal to 4. That is A plus A plus A plus A. How many A's are here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4A. That is, that is nothing but 4 into A. 4A. Okay. Now, area of a square is A into A. 
side into side that is equal to a squared side into side. So what is the area perimeter of a rectangle formula 2L plus B. Area of a rectangle is L into B. A perimeter of a square 4A. Area of a square A square. Must learn the formulas and keep it in your memorize in your mind. Now, using the formula, shall we find out the? Shall we do some problems? Now, see, length is eighteen meter, breadth is equal to ten meter. Now. Find the perimeter of a rectangle. Length is 18 meter. Breadth 10 meter. Now what is the formula? Perimeter of a rectangular formula is 2 into L plus B. Now 2 into what is L? L is 18 plus what is breadth? The first step you have to do is you have to add. First you have to add L plus B. Add. Then you have to multiply. So shall we add 18 and uh, 10? 18 and 10 is equal to 28. Okay. After doing this you have to multiply 28 by 28 into 16. That is equal to 8 to 16, 2 to 4, 56. It is in meter, so write meter. So write the form for in order to find any perimeter or area, you have to write the formula first. What is the formula? Perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus B. Then you have to substitute the numbers. Length is equal to 18. Breadth is equal to 10. Substitute the numbers. Then the next step is you have to add the things in the bracket. L plus B. 18 plus 10. After addition, you have to multiply the whole number with 2. Okay. Now next, find the area of a rectangle. Now area formula is length into breadth. What is the length here? 18. What is the breadth here? 10. Multiply 180. It is area. So you have to write square meter. 180 square meter. Now find the perimeter of a square. Perimeter of a square formula is 4 into A. Okay. What is the perimeter uh, side of the square uh, side? A is equal to 90. A is equal to 90. So, what, what will be the perimeter? Perimeter is equal to 4 into 90. That is equal to 360. It is in centimeters. So, 360 centimeter. Now, what is the area of the square? A into A. A squared. A squared is equal to A into A. That is equal to 90. A is equal to 90. A is equal to 90 into 90. It is equal to 0, 0, 8100 square centimeter. Okay, for area you have to write square. For area you have to write square. Is it clear? Area. This is perimeter. Okay, now look here. What will be labor cost of laying the floor of an assembly hall? So this is an assembly hall. Assembly hall is a very big hall where you do some prayers, some meetings, etc. So now you have an assembly hall of length 14 meter and breadth 10 meter. So 
so length and breadth is given means it is a rectangle okay it is not a square it is a rectangle and now it is what is the question here how much will it cost to uh, construct a floor to construct a floor in the assembly hall by using tiles or cemented floor whatever you prefer now what is the length length is l is equal to 14 breadth is equal to 10 okay what you, you one square meter cost is given okay one square meter cost is given so now we have to find out the area squaring uh, flooring means you will not only flow you cannot floor only the side alone no so you have to flow you have to floor floor lay the floor the whole area so the whole area is occupied so you have to find the area not the perimeter the whole surface so area area of a rectangle is l into b so shall we substitute here L is 14, B is equal to 10. So, 140 square meter. So, area of this floor is 140 square meter. Now, cost of 1 square meter per means 1 square meter is given 60. Now, what will be the cost of your assembly hall to to, floor, to lay, lay the floor in your assembly hall of 140 square meter, you have to multiply 140 by 60 and you will get the cost 0, 0, 6 plus 24 to 8. So, the cost is 8000 rupees 8400 if you pay rupees 8400 you can lay the floorings of this assembly hall okay now now next one is how much wire wire will be needed to put a triple fence around a square plot so square plot, your plot is a square plot. Already it is given square, square plot of side 20 meter. What is the side? 20 meter. What will be the total cost of the wire? So in order to put a fence, you will not put a fence in the whole surface. Will you put a fence here? No. You will construct pillars, pillars and then tie fence over it. Okay, so I have made, I have represented here. See, this is the square plot which you have. Your side, the side of your square plot is 20 meter. Now, I have to fence it. Fencing means I have to fence only the side. So, it is a perimeter. We have to find the perimeter. And here, how many fence? Triple fence. Three times the fencing is done. So, shall we fence it for the, for the first time? One fence. One, two, three, four. One time I have fenced it. 20 meter, no? 20 plus 20, 40. 40 plus 20, 60. 60 plus 20, 80. So, what is the perimeter of the square formula? 4 into A. So, 4 into 20 that is equal to 80, 80 meter. Shall we find, fence it? 20, from here, from here to here 20, 20 plus 20, 40, 40 plus 20, 60, 60 plus 20, 80. So, one time wire needed for a fence is 80. Okay, now in the same how many fences should we write we uh, fence it three triple fence so one more time 
So, 2 times over 1 more fencing. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 80. So, 3 times I have to fence it with 80 meter wire. So, 3 into 80. So, totally how much wire will be needed to put a triple fence? 3 into 80. 240 meters. Okay. Now, one more question is asked. What will be the total cost of a wire at rupees 50 per meter? So, 1 meter per means 1 meter is rupees 50. Okay. Now, how much wire should be needed? We have to triple fence it. And the fen wire needed for triple fencing is 240 meter. So, 240 meter. So, what is the cost of 1 meter? 50. What will be the cost of 240 meter? Multiply. Zero. Two, uh, four face are 20. Two, two face are 10. 11, 12. Here is the cost. 12,000 rupees. 12,000 rupees. So, how much wire will be needed for a triple fence? Rupee in so 240 meter. Okay. How much is the cost for uh, fencing the square plot? Trip by triple fencing the square, square plot. It is rupees 12,000. Okay. Jazakallah.